I'm about to go away for uh, 10 days. I've never been away from the, uh, from the aquariums, from the fish for that long since I started keeping fish actually. So uh, let me give you a quick look at the fish room before I go so you kind of get an idea of what I do, especially after a long trip like that. Let's take a quick look. At some point during the week, every aquarium received maintenance, a water change or a filter maintenance if it was needed. So every tank is in pretty good shape right now and uh, it's gonna have to hold for 10 days because I don't have anyone watching the aquariums that I would necessarily trust to have the knowledge necessary to actually maintain the tanks at, you know, with, at any high level. But every tank has been, uh, has been cleaned and maintained and, uh, and it's in pretty good shape. I also topped off the sump. The sump's at about three inches higher than it would be normally and the socks are off because those socks you need to be changed every two or three days. And again, the person watching the aquarium is not going to be swapping out socks. If we have a power outage, this sump might actually overflow, so I've got a few towels laying around. So uh, fingers crossed, we don't have a power outage. And I needed to, uh, to fill it that high because there's going to be evaporation over those 10 days. And again, I don't have somebody watching the tank that I trust to do a top off. So the sump is extra high. I've left uh, packets of food on top of each tank with an estimated amount of how much is going to be needed over those 10 days with clear instructions written on each each of the bags to make it pretty uh, pretty foolproof. You see each, each tank has a bag on it where you feed them through. This is a divided tank. So it has to be fed through two different spots. And uh, that should make it pretty obvious and make it very difficult to make a mistake in feeding. Doesn't mean it can't happen. But I also left written instructions that make it very clear that we're better off underfeeding than overfeeding. And also that if uh, she happens to miss a day because she gets tied up at work or something, not to try and make it up by overfeeding the next time, that it's better off just to, uh, just to continue the schedule as normal afterwards. Battery powered uh, pumps, like this one by Cobalt, that would, that would run for 48 hours in the event of a power outage, have been converted from, uh, from stones to actual filtration units just to provide extra filtration. I'm doing it there and I'm also, I have the pump, the, the pump that is running this sponge filter that is inside of this eight gallon that's being run by a aqua, an aqua lithium lithium powered pump, lithium battery pump. And also I have another cobalt here that instead of just the air stone that was on it before is now attached to this unit, which is uh, from Sarah, just an old school sponge system, which I like a lot actually. Kind of cool, bubbles going up through the green. And so, again, an extra safeguard against power outages, which do occur from time to time here. Not because our grid is in bad shape. We have a great, I think we have a great power grid, but we do get sudden and severe weather, including uh, thunderstorms, electrical storms, and very, very hard rain. The kind of stuff you'd see like in Florida or in the Caribbean. So anyway, extra safeguards just in case of a power outage. I've also asked my fish sitter to uh, text me pictures 
and uh, you know, if anything unusual happens, any unusual sounds or it looks wrong or something, just to text me pictures and information and I'll get back to her and to just not panic and uh, you know, really just make it easy for the person that's, that's watching the fish. So uh, that's my prep, that's my setup, and now I'm off to, uh, off to Europe for 10 days to, to visit one of my sons and his fiance in Europe and over in London. So uh, there you go. Fingers crossed, and uh, I'll see you folks on a Saturday, I believe it's the 9th, for Cichlids and Coffee. Thank you, my friends, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.